It's the final of the Qatar Open in Doha. Igor Sviantek versus Jessica Pagula. Number one versus number two in the seeds. Who's going to win? Let's go through the preview. Iga, fresh off of dispatching another woman on the tour with a double bakery item. It was the breadstick and the bagel combo. The same thing that she gifted to Danielle Collins. She gifted the same one to Kudometova. As you can see there, very happy customer at the Doha branch of the Iga Bakery. We have a good stat here saying that Jessica Bagula will be playing Iga in the final and it will be their sixth meeting in 11 months. And Iga leads the head-to-head -head by four to two, but lost their most recent at the United Cup. Bagula's mixed spins, net play and drop shots beautifully to beat Sakari for Iga's speed changes equation. That is the real exciting thing about this matchup. Two completely different game styles. Who will impose their will on the other? And Iga seems to have been absolutely blistering through this tournament. Obviously, she had a fire through the first round. Benchitz dropped out as well, so she didn't have to play her. And she has only lost two games in this whole entire tournament. Uh, from a singles perspective, <laughs> Five hours, 16 minutes on court for Jessica Pagula. Iga Sviantek, one hour, 49. Last match played was two hours for Pagula against Sakari and Iga, only 56 minutes there. M uh, matches played, obviously one less for Iga. Games played, 70 for Pagula, 26 there for Iga. And sets played, four for Iga, eight for Pagula. And you can see there in 2023, their win to loss record as well. If we add the doubles into it, Pagula has been on court nine hours, 57 minutes. Well, she's going to be well practiced. That's all I can say. But who's going to be the fresher? And this is the reigning defending champion, Iga Sviantek here in Doha, because this is where she started her amazing run last year, if you remember rightly. This was the 37 match winning streak. It started here in Doha and look what happened in last year's final. There was a bagel there. It was to Annette Contevi. Incredible tournament. Started maybe a bit slow, but got into her stride. And then she hit the ground running after that, as we know, and continued all the way up until she lost to Elise Cornet at Wimbledon. So these are the head-to-head -head matches between the two. As I mentioned before, Iga did lose to Pagula in the United Cup. But before that, Iga had won four on the bounce. Close one there in the San Diego matchup. And uh, Pagula won their first ever matchup there at the City Open in Washington. Who will win today's matchup though? Let me know in the comments section below. I want to hear your thoughts on this one. It's a super exciting final. And make sure to join us for it later. It's in about four hours time. But if you haven't already, hit a like, subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you for more tennis action coming up.